This week at Grand Central Terminal, the normal rush of commuters will be broken up by a herd of dancing horses. It's a site-specific performance by the artist Nick Cave, along with 60 dancers from the Alvin Ailey School. Six, seven, eight, three, Grand Central Station, bigger, bigger. It's his first public performance in New York, and it's going to reach a vast and sometimes unsuspecting audience. When I look at the history of the MTA and, and, and transportation and then how the horses were brought into the railroad sort of connection to that, I think that's interesting. And then when you look inside at the ceiling, uh, there's a Pegasus up there too, so it's interesting these sort of parallels. Nick Cave is an artist based in Chicago who's known for his sound suits. Sculptures made out of natural materials that make noises as they move. It could be all out of human hair, then it could be out of metal sort of bottle caps or buttons or like hundreds of thousands of twigs. For this project, he collaborated with the public art group Creative Time and the MTA to bring the sound suits to Grand Central Terminal, where they will perform twice daily and be on view for the public as sculptures when they're not galloping across the floor. You know, it's interesting because you could put on a sound, the same sound suit that I could put on and you're going to respond differently than I'm going to respond. Yes, and build a circle. And it's about to, it's Fabulous. About Nick trained as a dancer himself, so a day before their public debut at Grand Central, we visited him and his choreographer at Alvin Ailey, where they met their dancers for the first time and began to envision them as a herd of colorful horses. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, brilliant. You see? As a trained dancer, you're so used to, okay, what's one, what's two, what's three? But to me, the, the, the true artist can improvise on the spot. You know, you give each other signals, like if I want to trot, I can then tap Bob's arm and say, we're getting ready to take off. So. Me and my partner, we're watching um, like horse competition videos where they do the crossovers, so we're going to try to get a little fancy. Okay, now you can just kind of just move around. Okay. Try, try Each horse bit. has its own identity. There's mm -hmm. pintos, there are, mm -hmm. you know, black horses, there is. Mm -hmm. What is a pink horse? What, what do you do? assume yes. that a pink horse? <laughs> and the personality of the dancer has to be once again amplified, especially in this big, big space. We're so sort of consumed by, you know, holding on to our jobs and, and just sort of surviving. We really don't dream. So to, to be able to bring something to the public that perhaps could help sort of uh, stimulate or jumpstart that sort of thought again, it's really what I was thinking about. 